somebody wants some skitty. I'm going to wrap it today. I ain't playing with this truck. About to get it spayed. What's going on, everybody? So we finally got this old girl drug up here. It's been uh, quite a while, pretty much like everything. But we finally got her drug up here where I can get some work done on her. Yeah, this whole thing's been sitting over there for quite a while. And then I drug it up there by the trailer and uh, fooled with it a little bit. I actually uh, washed it off while it was up there. But you can't tell now because it's been sitting a while again since I've done that. But it was pretty clean. I've been fooling with it a little bit. Got all the leaves and pine straw and crap that was accumulated under the hood. We got all that blowed away. We got rid of some of the old carburetor and nitrous stuff that was hanging around. Still got this big fuel line. A bunch of old janky wine and crap everywhere we got to uh, deal with but as you can see we got the motor just sitting down in here i know she looks a little rough she's been sitting a little while but as you can see she still turns over fine i pulled this motor out of a tahoe and it ran absolutely immaculate in there so hopefully it'll run good in here too once we get her going for those y'all that don't know it's just a stock 5.3 no cam or nothing like that uh, transmissions a uh, turbo 350 a built turbo 350 it's got like a 3500 stall or something like that i can't exactly remember what the converter is Let's see if we can get some light here yeah turbo 350 like i said it's around 3200 3500 stall but it's a pretty hefty transmission and then the exhaust there got three inch it's also X pipe with all uh, forget what the mufflers are there but when it was running it sounded damn good that's for sure but what I'm gonna do right now I need to go through here chase all these bolt holes clean all them threads and stuff up you know it's been sitting so it's got some uh, dirt daubers and stuff like that so I'm gonna go through there and clean them all out spray them all out and then uh I got some bolts somewhere that I made. Where the hell are they at? Oh yeah, there's one right there. Just uh, took the old Dremel and cut a couple slices in them. The way I can chase the threads out, clean them up, cause I ain't got no, uh, I ain't got no tap for uh, metric size bolts and stuff. So I had to make some. So it's been a few weeks since we last fooled with old girl here. I know I left off on uh, chasing the threads out. That's what I was gonna do. I've been trying to clean up around here a little bit. I had a pile of crap right here. Got all that moved. Well, some of it's actually over there. All them hoses and stuff was hidden under, you know, a foot or two of pine straw. But got it cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to tackle that area over there next. And old parts truck got it gone. But yeah, it's been uh, three or four weeks since we last fooled with this thing. But I left off on uh, getting all these bolt holes chased out cleaned up got all that done got water pump on it I put the uh, good intake fuel rails and injectors on it so i just set the headers on there got to swap them coil packs out uh, just found a starter hopefully it works but i don't know like i said i gotta swap them coils out they might be good i don't know i found them under the uh, pine straw when i was cleaning up so <laughs> yeah who knows i got a good set in the truck we're gonna get them put on there and then we're going to lay the wiring harness and stuff out start trying to figure that out well actually i need to go through the stock harness there and clean it all up all we're going to use off of it is starter wires alternator wire hot wires you know solenoid wire stuff like that everything else we're going to do away with all that we got harness and all here computer right there a bunch of wire and stuff this is what we're going to be running on it mega squirt harness here went through here and labeled everything because a bunch of the wires are cut so went through there uh relabeled all that so that'll be easy should be fairly straightforward to hook up i got uh directions and all it don't seem too bad but i've done a little research and seems like some people have a lot of issues trying to get it working so i don't know hopefully uh hopefully won't have too much of a problem but you know it's uh it's a hot rod so 
Let me see if the starter will work. Get a battery, jumper cables, see if it'll work. And then it'll, you know, go from there. Oh yeah, she's hot as a firecracker. If I can find another round two, I think this is a LS star. All right, that works. I found this one laying in the dirt under some pine straw. No telling how long it's been there. So, uh oh. Strongest thing in the world, but it's working. All right, got another one. I actually found this one on old Jump 5.3. I forgot I had laying over there. I know it was good. I want to pull the motor out, so I mean, obviously, it's nice and greasy. It's been sitting out in the weather. It should still be good, hopefully. Pretty sure it will act right, hooked up in the truck, hopefully. I don't know, they both sound about the same, really. I mean, neither one of them sound very strong. We'll probably go with this one, though, because the nut on this one looks stripped out. All right, I just went ahead and pulled this header off just to make it easier to get the starter on. Plus, we got a couple sensors and stuff over here plugged up. I just went ahead and pulled it back off. And, uh, oh, no, 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 you don't do that. Come here. All right. We got some good coils here. I know these are good. I just tried them on a uh, running truck a couple weeks ago. And these are also the newer version. So we'll get these. Bolt it down on here. Coils bolted down, intakes fully bolted down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this fan here out of the way. Just like that. Pressure wrench here. Turn her up a little bit. All right. Hammer here. trim some of these wires out of the way get rid of some of the wires I know we ain't gonna need crawl over in here and get the snipping how much tape is in there let's see all this here injectors stuff like that throttle body stuff AC alternator well, let's see, uh, one of these would be the alternator. I know this is it right here. This is the alternator wire. Alternator plug. Keep that one. 
in these grounds. We'll keep them. These here definitely go. And then these here, these are just uh, like EGR, stuff like that. We don't need none of these. I'm going to cut all the plugs off. I know we don't need, you know, go through there and trim the wires. Some mock sensor, I don't need that. Purple one here is a solenoid. Do need that. This is for the fuel pump. That would usually be a, a relay right here. Up here on the firewall for the fuel pump. That's what that's for. I don't believe we'll need that. This will be a little, little their own separate fuel system. Anybody want some skitty? Yeah, I know that's an AC compressor fluid. I'm pretty sure this one is too. So, I don't think we need whatever the hell this is. I can't remember, but we don't need it. <clears throat> I think that's all I'm going to do for today. I got to put that alternator on that car. Plus, I'm trying to make me a gasket for my uh, four wheeler over there. So, yeah, we'll come back at it. All right, next day here, most of these go to the transmission this is a thermo 350 so we won't be needing that at all snip 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 in the way getting rid of some spaghetti hey 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 i'm gonna wrap it today i ain't playing with this truck about to get it spayed all right we got it all cleaned up did leave some grounds here that was there. Had this gray wire, goes to the windshield wiper motor, I left that. Another ground, solenoid wire to the starter. This is a hot wire, it runs from there to in the cab. And then we got the hot wire that went to the uh, coil, kept that. And then we got our alternator wire. That's everything we got so she's a lot slimmer now i still need to clean up some of this here this was just a, a fuse that went to the old fuel pump so we don't need that no more i think i'm gonna end up just uh getting rid of all these two and uh taking all that out remove the ecu the tbi computer because all of these wires here are basically just grounds i'm pretty sure we won't need any of them just grounds for the computer and gauges and stuff like that stock gauges we ain't gonna be using any of them anyhow and then these two hot wires here pretty sure just to power up the computer and stuff like that so probably gonna pull all that out pull the stock tbi computer out and then we can run this through here and we'll put the ms3 box behind the dash where the oil stock tbi computer goes i'm gonna leave it like it is for now but we'll clean it up later on once we get her running and all that good stuff but we'll pull all this out and the stock tbi computer be behind there and it's about the same size as this maybe a little bit smaller but we'll put this in there and it'll be like all factory i think it'll work out pretty good that way plus you won't have the computer under the hood like a lot of ls swaps She'll be hidden behind the dash, light factory, pretty much. Once we get that all pulled apart over there, get them wires cleaned up, we'll just chase them down through the main harness. Come right here, pull this little bolt out, unplug this, uh, unpin all the wires we're not going to be using or needing. And I'll get rid of most of this, clean up the harness a lot, and then we'll try to run all that nice and neat so i got her jacked up now i got my nice shop floor out uh got the starter there wire harness and all i'm about to start laying all that out plugging it all up and then uh put the starter and stuff on and just go from there it's just going to be temporarily to plug it up you know just to see how everything's going to work i got all this stuff labeled all the wires that was cut we got all them labeled but we're gonna have to obviously you know, extend them and all that good stuff my buddy that owns a truck he brought me these here put the wire in and then 
you heat it up and it melts it. I have to get a heat gun, I guess. I don't have one of them. Hell, I'm gonna go get a heat gun. I might just get a damn soldering gun. We actually got a Harbor Freight now in town here. So, hell, I might run up there and see if they got a soldering gun because I'd rather, I'd rather solder all these wires together. We might just use these for now. I ain't never used them, so I'll see how they work. Alright, so we got our first issue. These ain't gonna plug in on these injectors. We got here. It's just a little bit different. Let's just continue on here with what we got. Okay. Alright. I can still figure out you know, about where everything's gonna go anyhow. Our injector plugs is the only ones that won't plug up. It looks like we might have enough length to uh, put this thing where the stock TBI computer goes. Just pull the old stuff out right there and then run this through. So yeah, it looks like uh, most of our plugs are going to plug in. Except for the injectors there, which we're not going to be using these injectors anyhow. These are just stock truck injectors. Once we uh, get it running and get the turbo and stuff on it, we're going to obviously need a little better injector. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to holler at my buddy that owns a truck and see what he wants to do. I did uh, a little looking online real quick and turns out these are for LS1 injectors. You can buy adapters. I did see them online for like 10 bucks just to uh, plug in these into the stock truck injectors for now just to get it running or something probably gonna have to do something with our coils obviously too do a little relocating on them somehow because obviously this ain't gonna work <laughs> what the hell's going on over here dude tearing out on the lawnmower but uh yeah anyway we know a little bit more what we need we got a little bit of progress not much but uh better than nothing i guess maybe the next video we can uh maybe at least squirt some gas down this thing and at least hear it bust off or something well, i was hoping to do that in this video you know but nothing ever really goes as planned i got some paint too that i forgot i had so we might uh might pull the water pump back off and mask the heads up and paint the block and stuff too it wouldn't hurt for a little paint to go on her purity it up a little bit but uh yeah let me quit talking we're going to end this one off here uh holler at my buddy and all and uh see what he wants to do and all that good stuff but yeah y'all just uh let me know what y'all think we'll see y'all in the next one later